it's not a very family orientated lifestyle. So I didn't really see my friends or family for a while there. I, ha I had relationships where um, people wanted to get close to me and that would bring that up again and they'd really want to find out a bit more about me and I'd just be filled with this fear and I thought I've got to get, I've got to get away, I can't allow myself to open up, I can't allow myself to trust anybody and so I would just be avoiding and avoiding and avoiding and only putting myself in situations where there were only going to be shallow connections. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty bad. They wanted to help me, but they just didn't know how. Um, I didn't want to be helped at all. I, th I thought that my mum was against me. I thought she was a narc. I used to call her a narc. Um, I used to get f have physical fights with my dad all the time. You know, you'd go around and have coffee with someone that didn't use, and it was just like, oh, fuck, can you just hurry up and fuck off because I want to pull my pipe out? Like, that was just what it was like. It was just like, oh, you're just boring. It's just like, I want to have a pipe with my coffee, not have a coffee and, and chat. After a binge, you know, you know always at the end something bad's going to happen or it's going to end up in tears. I had a very abusive boyfriend, mentally and physically. He, um, I got stabbed. Um, I've been locked in a room without food and water for a few days. I've tried to leave, he's beaten me down and chased after me. He had a dog pit bull attack me. Oh, I've had, I've had some horrible, horrible times. A Kayla was born and I was fried at her birth. And, uh, and two days later, I think I gave up for two days, and two days later I went and celebrated with the boys. I guess other relationships, I became really lonely because all the stuff that you do at the clubs, it's all just, yeah, let's dance, let's dance, let's dance, but there's no real deep stuff that happens. And so even though I had a lot of people around me, it was all a bit of a false life. If I knew I couldn't be at home, then I wouldn't be at home. It was, I'd come here to come down or whatever and sleep and probably get pretty angry at times, but yeah, I'd try not to be here if I didn't want them to see me in certain states. <laughs> pretty full on, pretty full on arguments. And looking back now, it's pretty nasty. It's just like, whoa. But you know, I mean, that was just pretty much so solely the drug that fueled that because we, haven't argued like that since. I mean, we've argued since then, but we haven't, um, it's been nothing like that. It was just, you know, walk out and leave it. And I just got to a moment of clarity where I realised, I don't know, I felt more lucid than I had been in months. And I suddenly looked at the people around me and I was like, wow, these people, don't have any good intentions for me. These people are actually hurting me. But I was ashamed. I was ashamed of what had happened to me. I was ashamed that they would be disappointed. So I wanted to work really hard to get myself. Next time I'd see them, I'd be straight. So I just took about a whole year to go and see them.